guys. Got a camera last night. Um, had it for a day, so I don't know if you can call this a review or not, but maybe just an overview on what the camera is. And that camera is the Insignia NSDV 11-1080F. Uh, I got this bad boy at Best Buy. It was on sale for one ninety nine ninety nine. It's Best Buy in Canada, so that may differ if you live in the uh, good old United States to the south of, uh, of us. But uh, so far, I gotta say it's uh, it's pretty impressive for the money. Uh, it records in 1080p at 30 frames a second, or 720p at 60 frames a second. It's got some other uh, choices there too, but they're the ones no one really wants, the standard definition ones and stuff like that, or stuff that no one's really gonna want a high def camera for. So those are the main ones that I just thought I'd put those ones in there. Uh, it's got 12 times optical zoom and it takes 10 megapixel pictures. That's pretty good as well. It records an AVI or MOV file format. So AVI for Windows and MOV for Apple. I'm assuming MOV is for Apple. I don't know. I'm not an Apple guy, but uh, it's the other one. I ran some issues with uh, AVI because I use a Windows uh, Movie Maker. I had to download some, uh, what are those things called? I had to download some stuff off the internet to make it work. I finally got it working, so I'm happy about that. I was pulling my hair out last night. I couldn't sleep. It really bothered me, but now it's working, so that is good. Um, it's got a three-inch touch display too, which I didn't know when I bought it, and I found out when I was playing with it. So that's pretty cool as well. Uh, it records onto an SD card, so which I I prefer because you can just pop the SD card out, pop it in your card reader or in your computer, and Bob's your uncle. You are good to go. Um, are there better cameras out there? Absolutely, but for the price you pay, one ninety nine, it's not a bad camera. Um, like I say right now, what you're watching is 1080p at 30 frames. If I was filming some a bit faster, maybe I was worried about capturing things I would miss, then I would put it on 720p at 60. But for what I'm using for right now, 30 frames is fine. The 1080p is hot, so that's what I'm recording in. Um, but like I said, other cameras that are going to be high def cameras. They can get up there seven hundred, eight hundred dollars. So, for most people, I can't see why this wouldn't be enough. But certainly enough for what I'm going to be using it for. So, that's just the camera. Again, I've only had it for a day, so I'm not going to call this a review. Maybe I'll do an updated video on after I've had it for a few months and I've able to uh, check out all the features and do all the stuff. Then I'll give an updated video. Maybe it'll break. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I know NC doesn't have a great, the greatest uh, reputation, but uh, we'll see how far it goes. Um, I came with the uh, the regular suspects, um, a CD, a USB cable, a charger for the battery, uh, cable stuff up to a TV. I'm obviously not showing it to camera because I'm recording with it, so the fit and finish is fine. It doesn't look like crap. It looks good. So overall, I'm pretty happy with it. So would I recommend it uh, for $199? It's it's hard to ignore. It's a good bang for buck. So, yeah, I, I'm not saying it's the best at all. I know there's some really nice Sony's, really nice Canons, but again, the ones I saw that the highest or higher end Sony's and Canons were lowest eight hundred, nine hundred dollars. So, a big discrepancy in price. So it's up to you, but this was just just fine for what I need. So, yeah, cool.